Hey what's up guys, Damian here and in this video I wanna talk about Battlefield 1 my concerns, my Battlefield speculations, questions and the trailer of course so this game is set in World War 1 which is a different setting of course uh, we've never uh, experienced a AAA title set in World War 1 and it would be very interesting in my opinion now the best thing about uh, a world war setting is that there are no noob friendly stuff of course no lock on missiles no night vision scopes no uh, thermal scopes no noob commanders sp uh, spamming uh, UAVs all the time just skill guys pure skill you aim you shoot and that's it so uh, the classes will be a uh, assault medic support and scout now uh, the assault uh, will get the uh, submachine guns and the shotguns the medic will get the semi-automatic uh, rifles and the bolt action rifles but without scopes the support of course will get the light machine guns and the scout the bolt action sniper rifles and there also there will be uh, an armored uh, guy or uh, whatever this guy was on the trailer now I've heard uh, other uh, youtubers talking about that and they said that it will be like a hero pickup in Star Wars Battlefront maybe it's uh, this way but uh, maybe it will be like the, uh, the armored insert gadget we had in Battlefield Hardline as the uh, mechanic but uh, this time the uh, support guy will get it in my opinion also we saw a, an anti-tank rifle made by the Germans this rifle uh, uh, you know with that made a sensation a big impression uh, during the trailer and raised many questions on how it will be used will the, the scout get it now I personally I wanted to be a battle pickup because this rifle was uh, was shooting a larger round than the 50 caliber and you know the 50 caliber is one shot kill anywhere and um, it also had the iron sights and uh, hopefully it stays that way because this uh, this rifle with the scope it will be a nightmare any noob who picks it up it will be one uh, hit kill and uh, so yeah that's why I hope it will stay battle pickup now so side mounted scopes we saw a rifle uh, for, a, for a split second but uh, the scope it was uh, mounted sideways and uh, I think it was uh, really cool a nice change for uh, sniping but the real question here is uh, magnifications in Battlefield Hardline we had the Springfield rifle with a 6x scope on it and uh, I don't know now the 6x scope was uh, considered a high magnification scope back then uh, usually they had like 3x uh, scopes, 4x scopes and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the 6x scope is the, the longest scope available and uh, also what about zeroing, will we be able to zero our scopes in Battlefield 1 I really don't know but I don't think they could back then with the with the old scopes and uh, certainly infantry will require much more skill because uh, like I said no noob friendly stuff of course which is uh, <laughs> a very nice uh, direction that they've taken with this game and I hope uh, there won't be any one hit kill rifles like there were in Battlefield Hardline uh, the 300 knockout and the, the 338 uh, magnum rounds uh, that type of uh, shit I mean I just pray there, there won't be any stuff like that uh, available to the scout class just the anti-attack anti rifle uh, will be enough in my opinion now what about the vehicles horses, bikes Maybe jeeps, I don't know. Uh, if uh, maybe they used jeeps back then, uh, maybe not. 
we really don't know much about the world war one and it would be exciting to learn more through the game now heavy tanks and light tanks well the light tank i guess it will be one driver one uh, gunner one uh, more uh, cannon on the light tank i don't really know and the heavy tanks uh, obviously the, those tanks will be uh, you can get a full squad in the heavy tank of five guys and uh, it will be qu quite interesting to see how the team works inside the heavy tank with uh, the additional cannons and uh, maybe it will also work like uh, the mobile command center in Battlefield Hardline where uh, you will be able to spawn in it we'll just have to wait and see now about the uh, the heavy vehicles battleships zeppelins trains and i've also heard a crazy rumor about submarines i mean <laughs> submarines really I, I don't know and what are you gonna do with the submarine maybe uh, destroy the enemy submarine and then destroy the battleships and what then <laughs> i mean i don't really know about submarines and uh, now trains uh, will uh, i guess just uh, like a uh, gold uh, railways in battlefield 4 you'll be able to get uh, in the train or maybe spawn on it maybe a battle pickup i don't know the zeppelin now the zeppelin will be interesting will you be able to paradrop from it uh, will it work uh, like a bomber like a gunship and what kind of uh, munitions will it shoot if uh, it works uh, like that and what will be the uh, the armor? How thick uh, will the, the armor density will be? I don't really know. We'll have to wait and see. Now the train uh, field mission. Will it use uh, the uh, heavy machine guns or will it shoot uh, tank munitions? That's a that's a big question. I mean, we saw a very heavy train in the trailer and. Uh, I really don't know about that. Now the battleship. The battleship here is uh, the biggest uh, <laughs> vehicle in the, in the game, in my opinion. <laughs> and uh, will it be the most powerful vehicle as well? Probably yes. That's uh, what I think. And uh, the real question here is uh, how will it work? Uh, will you be able to spawn? Uh, just like uh, in Battlefield Force uh, Bomber in China Rising DLC will it be just one battleship and the uh, teams have to fight over it or will it be like a battle pickup uh, just like the uh, 88 in Star Wars Battlefront that is uh, you know I guess uh, those uh, one of those ways will be the most uh, reasonable for the battleship to, to play out because if you can simply spawn in the battleship I guess everybody will just wait on the spawn screen and it will uh, destroy the uh, the whole experience of this game and finally the planes fighter planes, biplanes, bombers of course no helicopters since it, this is uh, World War One and they didn't have uh, helicopters back then which is uh, good in my opinion there were uh, quite a few heli wars <laughs> back in the previous battlefield games and we'll see how how it plays out here and what will these noobs do i mean <laughs> you take away their vehicles here so fighter planes you know dog fights uh, shoot out uh, the enemy jets or <laughs> the enemy planes and uh, maybe do strafing runs i don't know the biplanes, uh, you will have a gunner, I think, with the Lewis machine gun, and I don't know how effective the Lewis machine gun will be, since it's uh, an infantry weapon, mostly. I don't know how powerful it will be on the plane. And uh, the bombers, you know, the bombers, again, will it work like uh, in Battlefield 4, when, uh, with a battle pickup? and uh, how effective the, will the, its bombs will be so uh, yeah that's it uh, guys i mean th that um, those were my concerns about 
how stuff will play out in Battlefield 1. Of course, we must see gameplay here. Uh, I'm just, uh, you know, speculating, throwing out ideas and stuff. And uh, it will be very exciting. I mean, I am also very hyped about this game. The entire uh, internet is hyped. All the gaming community is very excited about this game. And uh, we'll just uh, have to wait. I mean, a six months wait period. <laughs> will be very hard to wait so yeah anyways that's it guys thanks for watching this video and leave your comments down below letting me know what you think about Battlefield 1